morning everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. After all the cold we've had, I woke up to 54 degrees this morning. This weather is so stinking crazy. It's no wonder flu season is upon us. Anyway, this is my last official, totally last unofficial haul as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I wasn't going to do one, but since I was still active, I was able to pre-order from the mini catalog that goes live to customers June 2nd, I believe, June 5th. I was able to pre-order, and they offered free shipping on the 15th of December. So I took advantage of it, went through the catalog, got all the papers that I wanted from the new mini catalog, and a couple of punches, because, you know, paper cardstock punches weigh a lot. My box weighed 11 pounds. <laughs> now, I am going to tell you, I had not looked at anything in the box. I saved it for an unboxing video today. However, in going through and doing the unboxing video earlier, it took 35 minutes, and my camera will not hold a 35-minute video for me to upload it. So, I'm going to have to do this rather quick going to have to try and do it within 20 minutes and I have some news for you at the end of this video so you're going to want to hang around. Um, so what I did was since I had everything unpacked I put it on the chair behind me in order that it is in the catalog. Now the thing with the mini catalog is this also means it's celebration and I'm going to talk a little bit more about celebration when we get to this catalog but keep in mind you're going to want to make sure you have um, orders large enough to count as a party so that you can get the hostess credits and that's also going to get you lots of free stuff so I'll talk about that in just a minute and tell you why it's my favorite part of the catalog okay before I go any farther since I did not have this set out this is called the happy labels punch it has a ticket edge and it has a scallop edge and so you can make your strips as long as you want or as short as you want. What I saw in the catalog and first struck me was this would make a great washi tape look to your strips of paper so you can use up your scraps. And as I get down to scraps that will fit into here, I don't have my ruler with me. I've had it out in the dining room working. But as long as it will fit in one of these three grooves, um, you can take your scraps, pre-do these and Put them in a container by your desk so when you need just that little scrap of something, you've got them ready. So this is the Happy Labels Pick-A-Punch from the mini catalog, okay? Now you're going to see some things in order. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a suite. And this is where you can, for one, instead of going through and ordering, putting in the number for the paper, putting in the number for the ribbon, putting in the number for the stamp and die bundle, you can put in one number and you will get one of everything in the suite um, for the same price as it would actually cost you. I think it's 10% off the price, as if you went through and listed everything individually. So when you see a suite collection, if you want everything in the suite, instead of buying it individually, Use the one code number and you'll get everything for one price. And you'll get one of everything. So we're going to start with, you get a pair of ribbons. This is real red and um, burlap. And it is a stitched edge burlap ribbon in crumb cake and real red. Then they have a 6x6 gingham paper. This is called country gingham. And you get four, I think, of each sheet. Three... Four. Now you get eight of this one. Of this six by six gingham, you get eight of each. So there are four with this side, and then this is what the back side looks like of those four. Okay? Then you're going to get four of these, and this is the back side. See? Just like that. Whoops, I missed one. Then you have four of this. Now, there's different types of gingham in here. There's kind of a plaidish gingham, and then there's your traditional gingham. And I love gingham and plaid checks. So you have the soft peach, and I will read you colors in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me, I did not bring anything to do with me. This is the peach, and then this is the backside in a bolder gingham. Then you have this one with the real red and white. And I will tell you right now, this coordinates 
with this 12 by 12 paper pad you're seeing in the back, okay? There's the green. There's a bolder red and a smaller blue. So they go back and forth. Oops, one more. Oh, okay, there we go. And then there's this one. And then when we flip it over, okay, then there's this one. And when you flip it over, you have the green. Okay, so this is called Country Gingham 6x6 coordinates with Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet. Okay, then we have the 12x12 in the Country Florals. Coordinates with the same colors. Everything coordinates in this color suite. So you have one of each of the, or two of each of the 12x12s. So you have this one, and then you get it in the peach, okay? Then you have this one, and there's the back side. I love the bikes. You could cut these strips out. Wouldn't that make a gorgeous belly band or even the band on the front of a pocket? And then here's the back side of that one. Then you have this one and the back side. This one, there is a stamp and punch set that coordinates and the punch will cut these out. And I probably should have bought the punch. <laughs> I do that a lot. I try to teach myself I just need to get the bundle and get it over with. And you know, since I was ordering heavy stuff, it probably would have been the time to buy the punch for that. Didn't need the stamp set, but it probably would have been a good idea to buy the punch. Okay, next we have... This is called By the Bay, and you know I order everything in the sea stuff, and there's an entire collection for this. Okay. And this one you get um, four of each. So there's the front, there's the back. There's the front, and there's the back. There's the front, and there's the back. Front. Nice watercolor brush on that one, and there's the back. Mussels. Now you'll see them solid here, and later on in this pattern you'll see them um, as they're foiled. And then here's the back, and this one just this one just feels nice. It has a linen feel to it. Sitting on the beach and watching across the sky. And there's the back side with some foiling through it. You have your shiplap. And here's the back side. It's foiled with your crabs. And the dies will cut out a lot of the items in this paper. So you're probably going to want the dies if you think you're going to want to do some layering up. It is on my list to get um, because I have all the dies for all the marine type papers. So here we have this in the solid. And then on the back side, it has the foiling. Here's the solid. On the back side is the foiling. So you have foiling on one side. And flat on the other. And I think I have a sticker. Okay. See, and there's the muscles where they foil those. And that is called by the sea. Oh, and then the seashells. And then that one. Okay. So that is by the sea. You need to go, little doggy. Hey. Out. Out. Thank you. Okay, next on my list, <clears throat> a specialty paper for By the Sea is the textured 12 by 12, and this really does have a groove texture to it, and you're going to get two of each color, the balmy blue, um, kind of the champagne, and it's very shimmery, as you can tell, and then the shaded spruce, and that is the textured uh, paper that coordinates with the By the Sea. Okay, next on my list is, this is called Regency Park. Regency Park is a 6x6 six six paper pad and is part of a suite. So there's those two, those two, those two, and there's the back. Those two, 
and there's the back. Those two, and there's the back. These are going to make such gorgeous spring cards. This one almost has a Hawaiian uh, look to it. And there's the back of that one, totally different. These would not be hard to fussy cut out. They may even have some of the dies that coordinate, but because I wasn't interested in the dies, just wanted the paper, I didn't pay much attention. If we have time at the end of this video, I will show you. There's the back to that one. Has a like a cross hatch. Very springy there, Easter like. And then this one would go nice with the uh, one we just did, the raindrops. And then there's this one. And keep in mind that every paper in here is made to coordinate with the next. So even if it doesn't necessarily have colors in both of the papers, it is made to coordinate. Which is one of the things I love about stamping up papers. I love this one. This one I think is going to be a baby cards kind of thing. And this is perfectly. And that's one of the things when I went through this catalog and decided what to buy. I was thinking in terms of baby albums that I want to make for my Etsy shop. So that is called the Regency Park 6x6. And I'm going to check something here really quick. Because I don't want to mislead. But I think the next item I'm going to show you also goes with this. Um, uh, page 35. Okay, nope, I'm wrong. Never mind. <laughs> this is called Regency Park. Okay. A couple of years ago, we had birds and we had curves, and I didn't buy them, and then I wound up having to buy them from my upline. So this time I made sure that when they brought out a curvature like this, I grabbed them. Perfect for doing curved pockets, uh, adding a dimension to what would be an otherwise flat envelope. And this is called Around the Bend Dies. It does coordinate with the stamp set. I didn't need the stamps. I just wanted the dies for this one. Okay, then we have something else I didn't need the stamp set for is a four-leaf clover punch. I have lots of um, St. Patrick's Day kind of stamp sets, but I did not have a four-leaf clover punch. Now I do. And punches weigh a lot, so it was the perfect item to get on a free shipping. Okay, next we have Rain or Shine. So it's a 12 by 12 paper pack, and it is part of a collection. And you're going to get two of each 12 by 12 sheet and it does have some embossing on it. So there's that one, and there's the back side. Now, with the stamp and die set, the dies do cut these out. So you're going to want to get these. And there's another paper in here that the dies actually coordinate with. Honeybee, go away. So there's the back side of that one. There's raindrops, and this one is embossed. I love the sherbet look here. This is the other one. The die will cut out this turtle. Can't remember if it cuts out the pig, but I know it cuts out the turtle, and I think it cuts out the clouds. And then there's the back side of that one. Another embossed, foiled, and there's the back side of it. Now, there, the die does not cut out the umbrellas, but this would be easy enough to go ahead and cut out these. And then use your Christmas ornament hooks for on here. And there's the back side of that one. And that is called Rain or Shine. Okay, let's see. Put my plastic with that. I don't know if it tells me on the back. It does not. Okay, so there's that one. Okay. Trying to hurry here. Then we have a set called Ready to Ride, and it is pretty much a guy thing. There is also an embossing folder that will do the diamond plate texture for this. And you get two of each of these. Now with this one, the die in here let you piece together the motorcycle for dimension, but it will also cut this motorcycle out. Okay, and here's our 50s checkerboard. And these pieces you'll have to fussy cut out if you want those. The hexagon nuts, and then you have journaling cards. Our wrenches, and look at the 50s, 60s gas stations and diners. This would be great if you were doing a Route 66 travel album. 
I love the tire track paper. I may have to order more of this just for the tire track paper. And there's the back side of it. Then you have the black roses, which really threw me for a minute. But then you look at the back side of this with all the signs. And of all the signs on here, nowhere does it say 66. It says 46. But that is enjoy the ride. Oh, ready to ride, I'm sorry. Okay, next... I have this set and this, I can't remember what this is called. Give me a second and I'll look. Because um, I threw the paper over. Um, this is called Enjoy the Adventure. And it's basically, it's great for if you have pet albums to do. But it's also great for thank you. Thinking of yous. There's the sticker packs. I love those. So you get, uh, the package comes with the 4x6 and the 3x4s. Almost those right there. Okay, then I told you we were going to talk about this catalog. If you're not familiar with Stampin' Up!, whenever they do the mini catalog, they do celebration. And this is done twice a year, where when you purchase minimum of $50 in coordinating product and in product before tax and shipping, from either the new mini catalog, our all occasions catalog, or our clearance sale items online, then you can go through and you can pick out free items from Celebration. Now there are some items in here where you have to have a minimum of a $100 purchase, but there's only a couple of those. Um, so a $50 purchase or a $100 purchase will allow you to get something in here free, and you can stack those up. So I, I had a $150 order, so I got to pick three free items out of this catalog that coordinated. One of those for $50 was Adorable Owls. And this is another one of those where I instantly saw baby albums. Aren't they just cute? And I love this one particularly. Hoot, hoot, you're so cute. So this was free with a $50 purchase. And when you place your order at the bottom of your order form, it will tell you how many $50 items and how many $100 items or level one, level two items that you have coming. Okay, this was another one. I can't remember if it was $100 or $50. So let me look really, really quick. I think this one was a 50. This one was a 50. And it will coordinate with a stamp set that's in the new mini catalog. This is called Favored Flowers. And you get two of each. So there's that one. And there's the back side. Here's the front. I love the purples. And here's the black. This is actually, I believe, Blackberry Bliss. And Evening Evergreen, maybe? And then there's the back side of that one. There's this one. This one would even be work, work in a Halloween album. And there's the back side. And then there's this one. And there's the back side. This one. And there's the back side. And that is free with a $50 purchase from the Celebrations Catalog. It is called Favored Flowers. Okay, one more. This is the packet that I bought that was required a $100 purchase. So I got $150 in order before tax and shipping. I got $100 item, and I got to pick two $50 items. I could have taken two of these packets. You can double up on things as well. This one, you get four of everything. So here's two, and there's the back side. Here is two, and here's the back side. And again, perfect for baby albums, birthday cards, thank yous, celebration. I love this one. If you've got somebody, who, a little girl who loves purple, that's a perfect birthday card paper. Some more of our plaids and ginghams are brought into this one. Graphic paper. This one would be great for 4th of July. Pair it with a blue. And there's the back side. Bright yellow, daffodil yellow, and maybe Cajun craze stripes. And this one, this would be perfect paper for a computer person. Perfect. Um, especially somebody who did the original IBM type um, computer stuff. I'm hoping I get this uploaded this morning. 
We're in line for thunderstorms. So I'm hoping I can get this uploaded for you for today. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Bring in your um, shamrock punch. And there's this one. And this one. And that is Dandy Designs. Free with a minimum $100 purchase before tax and shipping from the Celebrations catalog. Okay, we are going to make this. Woohoo! I have one more thing to talk about really quick. You're going to want to come back here 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday morning. That is New Year's Eve because I'm going to be announcing my first challenge for 2023, I will be doing a month-long challenge. They're going to be really super simple. If you're new to junk journaling or new to paper crafting, this is a perfect time for you to jump in because it's going to be very, very simple. Um, but if you're advanced, you can take the, you can make it as simple or as advanced as fits your um, capabilities. So I'm going to be talking about this on Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be a premiere. I will be in the chat room right next door if you have questions. The other quick tip I'm going to share with you is starting in January, every month I'm going to be featuring another YouTube um, creator. I knew it was there. And I am so excited to announce that in January, we will be featuring Gail Agostinelli all month long. She has agreed to be a guest on my blog in my creator's corner for January. So all month long, some of the things that I do on this channel will be inspired by Gail Agostinelli. I'm going to link her channel down below. If you've not watched her videos, you are missing. Okay, I have to cut this short. We're at 22 minutes. I need to be able to upload this. I want to thank you for joining me in the studio this afternoon. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and if you don't want to miss anything that's coming down this channel in 2023, remember to click the notifications bell. Thanks for joining me. Creative Blessings.